Welcome back, Triple T fans. I'm Trish, and here today I have the our Dollar Tree haul tissue paper, and it is a tissue paper seahorse. Now all you need to do this craft is glue and everything inside this thing. So let's get her opened up and see what we've got. Okay, guys. So I've got my seahorse opened up, and I've got my glue ready. But inside you have the styrofoam seahorse very delicate so you're gonna have to be quite careful when we're doing this and I've got this little tiny pouch maybe the size of a quarter each of these tissue papers is inside and these tissue papers are again supposed to be color-coded and I'm gonna see here if my box has any instructions I just Oh, here's a, there is a color key. On my other project, there was not a color key. So one is yellow, two is green, three is blue, and four is pink. All right, good, we have those colors. Always a good sign. All right, so basically it tells us to use some glue and you take your tissue paper and you put it on the end of this pointy stick and it says to put, the, put it pointy side down, so into the tissue paper. And you're going to try and get one sheet of tissue paper at a time, guys. It's pretty difficult, but I know you can do it. You've got smaller hands, I'm sure. So you're putting it in. Now, you're not puncturing it at this point, okay? So you're just going to put it in, and you're going to turn it, it says, to twist it clockwise like this, okay? Then we dip it in our glue. So let me put some glue out on my tray here. Gloop. Okay, glue. Awesome. And number one was yellow. So we dip it in the glue. And then it said to put it in to the thing, give it a little poke into it, into the styrofoam, and twist in the counterclockwise using the other hand to hold it in place. Ta da! So there's one piece in, and you're going to do this for all the different colors. So I'm going to get this number one section done, and its eye is going to be yellow as well. And then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, guys? I finished section one with the colors I can I learned a few things first you don't have to twist it as hard onto the pointy end as you think just give it a light twist clockwise second you don't need to put them as close together I could have spaced you can see way down here that I started spacing them out more because I was running out so I probably wouldn't have run out if I hadn't bunched them as close together up here so I'm gonna have to work out Maybe there'll be some extras on another color. So that's a couple of things that I've learned. Also, make sure that when you're putting, pushing it in that you hold, hold the tissue paper a little bit counterclockwise, twist your stick, and pull it out. These are all things that were listed on the back for the instructions anyways, but you can see how some of them turned out nicer than others. So you've got some really good twists, especially with towards the end when I was figuring things out. 
and then you've got some just really bunched up stuff up here. All right, so we're gonna move on to number two, which is color green, and we'll go from there. Two to go. I don't know about to you, but right now my seahorse is looking like a sea dragon. That green and yellow showing up right now. I can't wait to see what it looks like once I get these blue and pink in. I think it's really going to change the overall appearance of this little seahorse guy. <laughs> okay, guys, so even with spacing them out more at the bottom here, I still, I ran out of blue tissue paper before I got done with my seahorse, well, the number threes. So, and I really like, this is all the tissue paper I have left to do this whole spine and fill in this four and this four. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to work on that and then I will probably use my paints, my acrylics, and fill in, like I might just paint the front of this and uh, we'll see how that looks. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the pink ones and fill in the number four spots. Alright guys, so I'm officially out of tissue paper and I managed to get all of the pink in here. Um, it is a little sparse up here in this part, but I had enough pink to add a stripe here where we had extra number one. So I'm just going to fill in this part and paint the face and that should finish off my seahorse. The tissue paper seahorse look at how handsome and colorful did you know that the male seahorse is the one that carries the babies guys I bet you didn't know and if you did you're super smart guys all right gang leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite aquatic animal is and we will see you next time, guys. Can't wait. Take care. Bye.